Hello and welcome to my regular tip video. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Sue Jacobs. I'm a wardrobe style and image coach and I love talking about what you are wondering about, what my friends are asking me about, what the magazines are putting out there in terms of style and fashion and trends because we really haven't been focusing much on trends lately because really is it relevant and I'm all about relevancy and practicality and what I'm talking about I am hoping that you can use in your life to make getting ready for your day a little bit easier and and actually for you to have fun getting dressed so my website is personalstyleconsulting.com and whether you are catching this live on my Facebook business page or you are watching this on replay through YouTube, thank you so much for being here. Now, one of the styling details that I absolutely love the most and quite honestly am missing in my online services, I miss this part of my personal in in person wardrobing uh, appointments is putting together unexpected outfits because when I'm in my client's home and she's changing I can be rummaging around in her closet pulling out things that she may have forgotten about or maybe she didn't pull out to prepare for our appointment so I'm, I'm really liking this topic and I'm so happy that it's going to be relevant uh, in terms of style if you want to be on trend this fall and what am I talking about I'm talking about layering I have been a layerer for decades I've always liked that look of depth and of what's under there I think it adds an element of intrigue now although I have always been warm like even in my 30s I was always someone who was hot and had to have the windows open in the winter time so when I when you think of layering I don't want you to misinterpret that for being hot because as everything in style, there is a technique and a way to do layering so that you can be comfortable and you will not be hot and you will be ready for all of those changing environments that we are in and out of. You know, yesterday, really hot day, in and out of heat, extreme heat, freezing cold, which doesn't feel good, but you also have to navigate that confidently so that you um, look, you're projecting yourself properly and not with sweat beads pouring down our face. Now, partner that with masks that we are all wearing. And for those of you ladies who have power surges, and you know what I mean, layering can work for you as well. Okay, so layering can happen in all kinds of, we used to think of it in just our outerwear, but to be honest, as a stylist, I love to layer jewelry, I love to layer colors, and today what I'm going to just show you are examples of how I layer dresses. If you know me, I have probably, and you work with me, I have probably added dresses and or slash tunics to your wardrobe where before you may not have shown those legs of yours. I love dresses because I'm short tunics also work for me as a dress so uh, if you looked in my wardrobe you would see more of those than any other I would say wardrobe piece in my wardrobe other than accessories. So here's what I want to say about layering because I you know you can try layering with your necklaces, here's what you could do to start. One easy way is to pull two or three different metals from your jewelry and just wear them all. And so that's layering different metals. And another way you can do it, pick your own favorite metal, whatever is your best metal, and wear three of them at the same time and of differing lengths. So that's how you get a good layer look happening with your necklaces. I think everybody who I have in my audience knows how to layer your bracelets. We've talked about stacks for a long time, so I'm not really going to talk about that. Layering with color before I get to dresses is easy, and this is an exception where I don't use the number three. I will challenge you to layer, pick four colors. Here's the key. One of those colors needs to have a 
complementary family member in the four. So if you have, say, cream, black, royal blue, you need to pick another color that is either a shade lighter than black or a cream or a different range of blue. So really you have three colors, four tones. Okay, so dresses. All right, dresses are, are one of those things that many of the women that I have met over the 12 years have in their wardrobe in a certain area. And if you are a corporate lady, you may have done this as well. You have all of your work dresses in a certain area. Sometimes there's a jacket that goes with it. The first thing I like to do is split that up, put the jackets with the jackets. Those jackets are gonna go with your denim jackets and your leather jackets and your knit jackets so that you still have it as a separate wardrobe piece. And then I'm left with dresses. Okay, and then you can rework the dresses. I actually, I had to change because I was too hot, but what I'm wearing today is a dress to the knee. It's actually a tunic dress, and I did have it layered over my, my summer lightweight, light blue, blue jeans, and that's how I was wearing it. But I couldn't uh, be in this space and leave those jeans on just a little warm with all the windows closed. So here's the thing, when I show you these two examples, I want you to think about not what you can buy. I would like you to think about what you may have in your closet that you could do this with in terms of dresses. And then of course, you are going to need other pieces other than dresses, as you will see. Um, because, and, and the, here's the thing, this works with dresses to your knees. It works with the maxi dress, which hits just above the ankle. This will work with a long sweater vest dress. This will look, work with a duster that you wear as a dress if it buttons from the neck down to a certain point below your knee. So all of those are what I'm considering and loosely calling dresses today. Why? Why not? Because it does work. Okay, and something else I want to, to think you to think about is um, I'm going to show you a slip dress. Some of you may have this as a lining to another dress that you own. Usually they're more fancy dresses. They may be more higher end. They come with the underpinning. Sometimes they are attached. I always encourage clients to detach them if they're snapped, unsnapped hang it separately. If they're sewn together, snip, snip. So then you then have, you have your liner, but you also have another dress I'm calling a slip dress. You can Google it. They're everywhere right now. And the other piece I want you to think about is uh, a sheer maxi dress. Now we know that, you know, <laughs> I won't be wearing a sheer maxi dress without something under it, but it is a dress just the same. How was it worn several years back with very short fitted, I want to say, boy, this will date myself, hot pants, but they're very knitted. You can see them now. Uh, younger girls wear them as slips. Instead of a slip, they're wearing knit jersey bamboo, very tight fitted. Let's call it a short. Okay, so that's how this was uh, brought back in the day. And I have had this, I think it's five or six years old. One of my favorite wardrobe pieces is a sheer long dress. So um, without any further ado, I will show you. So as I said, think about what you have, relate this to your wardrobe. How can you be enjoying your dresses in a different way so that people really don't realize that, hey, that's so-and-so's such and such navy dress. We don't want them to know that. There are ways to trick the viewer. Okay, so stay with me for a moment. I have to, I'm doing something different today. I'm, I've hung them up nicely so you will be able to see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoops, that was quick. Okay, so here is, and I've hung it super high, and I'll just give you a quick scan. You can see this gorgeous uh, creamy knit sweater. Well, it's not knit, it's a cot cotton sweater, and it is beautifully styled over this is a slip dress now i want to show you if i go up to the top you can probably see the little tiny spaghetti straps truth be known it is a liner to a beautiful dress that i have that has slits up the side so i have simply here we go whoa right under there you can see 
See the straps? So now what I've done, I wear this on its own as a beautiful summer dress. I've layered my chunky knit sweater over top. And then what did I do underneath? Because I love this triple layered look. I have added a very slim cream knit fitted creamy pant. How would I wear that? So you can get the idea of this look and it looks completely different than the spaghetti strapped slip dress. So here's how it looks for me. And what I would wear with that is this ankle booty. And it's still summery, perforated. Everything here is super lightweight, except perhaps the sweater. But when the temperatures are a little cooler, which it will be later in the week, this would be a perfect way to wear this slip dress. Can you do something similar? That's what I would like to know. Look at the pieces that you need to be able to do this though. Okay, the second dress. This is a dress um, that I have had and I've had it. It's a sleeveless bamboo and you won't be able to see the details here, but it is very long to my ankle, fitted and it's navy and it's called a tank dress. And what I did, you can see this sheer item. I layered this stunning sheer and it's slit here, you can see that. I layered it over top of the navy fitted dress. This works well because this is flowy. It's sheer, giving me that sensual kind of movement that I like when I'm wearing my clothes. And this knit bamboo, sorry, provides the foundation and the form fittingness that I like to feel confident and put together. And all I did here was add this stunning navy crystal layered necklace so this definitely changes my extremely casual navy tank dress and it morphs it into something i would wear out to dinner if i were doing that these days and when i pair it with a shoe like this you know i i, I am saying i'm getting to wear my sheer uh, layered dress with my bamboo tank dress more often and in a way that I know will not be duplicated. So you can see what plays a role here, right? Accessories. One dress, two dresses. Slip dress. Slim pant. Knit sweater. Beautiful, beautiful necklace. So I'm suggesting that you take a look in your wardrobe and see if there's any way you can do this. I know that many of you have pieces sitting around and this is what they do. They sit around until you can integrate them in a way that is going to be more versatile and you do have to think outside the box a little on this. So what I want to say to you is this is what I'm going to be doing in my master class. It's coming up on the 27th of August. It's an introduction into a series that I will be starting early fall. And this is how, like, let's be honest, having had all of the time home and to reflect and not working for probably, you know, three weeks uh, at March and a little bit of April, it's time to think about using what you have. Let's be more sustainable. Let's be economical. Let's be kinder to the planet. Let's think about not spending money if we don't need it. Even my clients who, you know, usually aren't worried about that, they're saying, Sue, let's do a restyle. And that's exactly, I do it for myself because I love just the challenge of reinventing, but I'm offering this opportunity with a couple of ideas here to you and that's what I'm going to be exploring at length in my masterclass, August 27th. It is posted on my website under events. It is posted on my business page on Facebook, personal style, wardrobe and image consulting, because I am serious about one thing. I really want you to use more of what you have more often. I know that everyone, everyone has a lot of real estate in their closet that is not getting any airtime. So that's not okay. Anyhow, if you liked this content, 
I would love for you to share it with people that you know would appreciate it. If you have a massive wardrobe, you can do what I just did. And if you want to learn the specifics and how to do this for your own personal style so that you feel authentic, you feel like yourself, you feel 100% confident going out the door to get groceries, to meet your friend for coffee six feet apart, doesn't matter. We're doing it. And any opportunity I get to do that, I'm telling you, I'm getting in my closet and I'm putting together outfits. This is the time to sharpen those layering skills. And I look forward to hearing from you. I would love for some of you to send me some pictures. I like to know how you did. So until next time, I'm Sue and I hope you can get in there and make some more use and get value from the money you spent on the pieces that you love. And remember, Masterclass, how to wear it five ways, your way. Reach out to me if that is something that interests you. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.